wild scene last night, Pacers and Bucks. Now, we were looking forward to the rematch because Pacers knocked out the Bucks in the in-season tournament. And that's when you had Tyrese Halliburton doing a little Dame time. And we thought, oh, is Dame going to go off for 50? No. But Giannis is going off for 64. And he wanted his basketball. Here is uh, Giannis. And uh, the reporter has the question. And then Giannis's answer of, he wanted the basketball. The Pacers took the basketball. A staffer took it. And Giannis was trying to go into the locker room to get his game ball. You thought they had the game ball. That's why you ran after them in the tunnel. I knew they had the game ball. I don't I didn't think I have, they had the game ball. I knew they had the ball. First of all, you cannot. Uh, I don't know how it works, but um, I assume. like I cannot just walk in, in any arena that I play and just take the ball. Like Dame was fifth of all time. I scored 60. At the end of the day, like, the ball that uh, they gave us, I offered it to Dame. Like, I scored 60. He scored multiple times 60. He scored 70, and, he, you know, uh, he should have the ball. Okay. Here's the Pacers head coach, Rick Carlisle. What happened at the after the game was unfortunate. There's a misunderstanding about the game ball. It was Oscar Shibwe's first NBA, official NBA point, so we always get the game ball. We were not thinking about Giannis's franchise record, so we grabbed the ball, and a couple of minutes later, several of their players ended up in our hallway. I don't think any punches were landed, but my general manager got elbowed in the ribs by one of their players. Unfortunate situation. We don't need the, the official game ball. There's two game balls there. You know, we could have taken the other one. Um, but it didn't need to escalate to that. I didn't know there were two game balls. I didn't know that you give a rookie the game ball after he scores his first point. Like baseball, you get your first hit, but there's 40 baseballs, 50 baseballs in the, you know, the uh, duration of a, a baseball game. There's one basketball that's there, and now you have two game balls. And then Giannis wants the game ball. He's still not even sure if he got the actual game ball there. Um, and I, I was not aware that this is what the Pacers do. I, I've never heard of somebody say, hey, I scored my first points. You know, can I take the ball and, uh, you know, let's take it out of action here. Giannis doesn't realize it. Did he overreact? Yes. Yes, he did. It was embarrassing. I understand that it's already chippy. It got chippy. And, you know, the Pacers think that, hey, you know, let's go after the Bucks. You know, we're on equal footing with them. And then all of a sudden, Giannis goes for 64 and then wants the basketball and then thinks that, you know, the Pacers are being petty, chippy, and they take the ball away from him. You could have had a staffer go in there. And, and maybe he tried that, but you're running down the hallway? I mean, come on. Really? Running down the hallway to get the basketball? Just have somebody go over there. Maybe an assistant coach. Maybe a head coach goes to Rick Carlisle. Maybe you do something like that. But you don't want your star player running down, you know, the hallway, trying to go into the locker room to get the basketball. It was entertaining, though. I mean, put up 64 as well. But even in the beginning, Tyrese Halliburton dunks, and then he's walking back. He doesn't say anything to Giannis, and then Giannis bumps him. So it was going to be something last night. But he wanted to, he wanted to make sure he stepped on the gas, and he did last night and putting up 64. But I don't know how often you get the basketball. And I know this is a team record. Look, would I want the basketball? Sure. But I had never heard of, hey, the rookie scored his first points. Did, did Victor Wambayama get a basketball when he scored his first points? I don't know. Never heard of him. And if the Pacers have a nice tradition, great. Oscar Chiwe gets his basketball and he scored his first point. Okay. It just happened to coincide with, you know, Giannis going for 64. But I'd never heard of that. Yeah, Paul. Also, it was a free throw, Shiwei's first point. It wasn't his first basket. If I'm Giannis, I, I slice that one up and go, didn't even score on it. Well, us. does he get one for his first basket? Is that separate? Yeah, I'm going to guess. You have 
Two basketballs I, up there. What's that for? Well, my first free throw, and that's my first basket. I agree, though. I agree with you on this one. Like, I don't like Giannis's actions, but I agree with his a little bit of anger, a little bit of anger, because like he was thinking in a moment that some pacer, staffer, or player just took the ball and took off with it. He's like, "Oh, that's that's my ball." But then, what are you going to do when you go into the locker room? Like you, you're, you can't do that. You're Giannis. You're better than that. <laughs> it's a okay. His brother's running. Yeah, I know. I know. This is. Full court press, off the court. Yes, Seaton. To me, scoring your first point is way more worth the, getting the game ball than putting up 60. Mm, let's uh, maybe, maybe ask that in the poll question. Maybe poll question. First points or a, uh, somebody scores a team record points. How, how many times are you going to – how many times are you going to score your first point in the league? It might be like the best thing that this kid ever does to me. That's way worth it. Giannis's actions, for me, had a lot of "Do you know who I am?" ism. <laughs> Giannis probably has four hundred game balls already. Maybe not quite that many, yeah. but I'm sure he's got an entire room dedicated to all of his greatness. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I might be going out on a limb. It's a little. It reeks a little bit of buying into your own importance. Yes, Paul. The I team may have to look into this. I've got Oscar Sheways. Uh, game log. He was the big guy at Kentucky for a couple of years. I remember him. So a couple of days ago, uh, he played in his first NBA game, a loss to the Lakers. It says here he's one for two from the free throw line. It says here he scored a point. Mm-hmm. I'm going to check this, but this is ESPN.com's uh, game log uh, of the player. Uh, uh, this yeah. is shocking. This is. No. <laughs> but if Oscar Shiwe scored a free throw against the Lakers, then his free throw against the Bucks was not his first career point. Yeah. Checking. And then they might have been taking that basketball to spite Giannis. Yes, Marvin. But wait, it was in the in-season tournament, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, does so that count? That, it's that, even bigger. So that may not count. No, those games are simultaneous, simultaneously in the in-season and the season records. Yeah. So do both of those balls go to Springfield? <laughs> she always got two balls. We can confirm. <laughs> Okay, but I, I'm just curious. Did, we don't know that. Does Victor Wambayama have the basketball from his first two points? He doesn't play for the Pacers. <laughs> does Buddy Heal? Well, he didn't start his career there. Reggie Miller, does he have? Well, Rick Carlisle was, you know, not the uh, not the coach then. So he changed the culture. I don't know. It'd be I, wild if Rick Carlisle got up there and just straight up lied. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what we're saying. Well, but these he, aren't he his got, first points. He got up there and 100% lied. It was just like, oh, yeah, the game ball thing, we always do that. Just so he could be like, yeah, we were trying to steal his game ball. That would be wild. That would be a massive reputation hit if he was lying okay. about something. So when petty. do the Bucks play the Pacers again? Because it'll be in Indiana. Wait, yes, Marvin. New Year's Day. Are you sure? Yep. Oh, okay. And then they played him again January 3rd. Oh, it was like a home and away, well, a home and home, back to back. Okay, yeah, yes, Todd. When Rick Carlisle referred to the miscommunication. Should he have taken the high road at the end of that sound by we played and said, you know what? If it means that much to him, I understand the importance of it. You know, there's two game balls. We'll give our guy the, you know, the other ball, and we'll make sure we get it right and get to. Or is it because of the behavior well, of the Bucks? That's what he, that's what he said. He's going to give him the right ball. Well, that's who not knows what, what the right ball is? Well, Giannis just swears that that's not the right ball. It didn't oh, feel like God. the ball. And maybe it's because of the post-game behavior that's now the Pacers are like, you know what? Screw them. We're not going to give him the game ball because of the way they act. Yes, he. Yeah, I was going to say that's exactly what Rick Carlisle said. We don't care that much about it. There's two game balls. We could split them. Yeah. It's like verbatim what he said. Yeah. Like, who cares? Like, here, you want it? And Rick saying that, uh, you know, he didn't realize that. You know, the Bucks didn't realize that the Pacers give their rookie the game ball. I've never heard of that. We should text like a current... Like a like Richard Jefferson or someone we know who's recently in the NBA and say, is that a thing? Ask ask JJ Redick. See if that's what did he does he have the basketball from his first points? Yes, he it's possible that in that game on uh December 9th against the Lakers, when Oscar Shibway scored his first point, yeah. Uh Anthony Davis happened to put up thirty seven and he got the game ball because he just needed another one. So right. Over, oh. total oversight. Okay. I just no, I love, I'm getting that one because uh I just had another I had great 37. game, so I want this one. So yeah. 